Hey, welcome to Drop Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about functions in Hugo. So functions are basically um, pieces of code that Hugo has pre-written for you that you can call, and they'll do specific things for you in your Hugo project. The easiest way to understand functions is just to kind of dive in and, and see a couple. So I just wanna talk about my layout really quick. I have uh, this content folder with just a bunch of different content files in it that we can look at. And I have my layouts folder and I have uh, just this default folder and I just have a, an empty list template and an empty single template. And so we can use these single and list templates to uh, access these functions. Now it's important to note that you can only use functions inside of the layouts folder. You can't use functions inside of this content folder, okay? So any of the stuff we're doing in this lesson can only be used in, for example, a template, right? So I have just this single template right here. So I'm just gonna show you a couple common functions that I like to use, just so you can get a hang of like how functions work. And then I'll show you a place where you can go to find an entire listing of all the Hugo functions available. And so the way that we call a function is with uh, two open and closed curly brackets, and then it's gonna be the function name, and there's gonna be parameters, so param1 or param2. And different functions are gonna take a different number of parameters, right? So one function might take one parameter, another might take two or three. It really depends on the function. Um, one function that I find myself using a lot is truncate. And so what truncate will do is it'll take in a size, so for example, 10, and then it'll take in a string, right? So I could say like, this is a really long string. And what this will do is it'll basically take this really long string and it'll truncate it down to uh, 10 characters. And so if we head over to our web browser. I'm just gonna open up one of these single pages. I'm just gonna be A. And you'll see that Hugo has automatically truncated this really long string into just 10 characters. And if I wanted, I could make this like 15 and Hugo, um, Hugo is smart enough to know like when to cut off the string. So that's truncate, I use that, uh, I find myself using that a lot. Um, you can also do like arithmetic, so I could say, for example, add uh, one and five, and it's adding those two numbers together, right, so we get six. Um, you could also do like subtraction and division and all that stuff. So we could like subtract one from five um, and it would give you the answer to that. So arithmetic is something that can be really useful, obviously, as it is in any programming language. Um, there's also other useful functions for dealing with strings. So like I could say singularize and I'll pass it a plural word. So like dogs and it will, you know, basically like make it singular. And so there, you know, there's all sorts of like little functions that we can use um, to make our sites better. Another function that's really useful, um, and I'm gonna use it over here on this list page is the range function. And so generally when you're on a list page, you want to kind of loop through all of the pages that are in the current section. And so we can use this range function and you basically pass it a parameter, which is like a collection that you want to range over. In this case, we'll pass it dot pages, and dot pages represents all of the pages in the current section. And we'll put an end down here. And so this is an example of a function where we're using an end block, right? So we have this beginning block, and we have this end block. Um, and inside of this range function, um, we can access certain variables about each item that's getting uh, ranged through. Now, in this case, we're looping through a collection of pages. And so each time we go through the loop, we can access variables about that specific page. And so I could say like dot title. Um, and now if I head over to my browser and I'm gonna just go to the home page of the website, you'll see that it ranges through all of the pages that I have created. And all, each page has, you know, basically the name, like it's just, each page is just named as a, a letter. And so that's why you, you see it like this. Um, and this range function can be really powerful. And if you go on the Hugo docs, you can find there's all sorts of different variations of using this range function. You know, all stuff that I don't need to get into um, in this tutorial. And so, you know, functions, 
basically just make creating your website and make uh, organizing and displaying your content a lot easier. Now, as I said before, there are you know dozens and dozens of these Hugo functions that are available. And if you head over to the official Hugo docs, so it's gohugo.io forward slash functions, you can get a full listing of all of the functions uh, that you can use in Hugo. And so you can see there's like a bunch of them over here on the sidebar. And basically, you know, what you should do is just kind of look through all of them and see which ones can help you with your website, right? If you're trying to do something, maybe display something a certain way, or like maybe you're trying to like grab a certain part of a string or, you know, something like that. There's a lot of functions in here that can probably help you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.